This is a compact hot plate. It's got this thick anodized aluminium at the top. And then underneath, it's powered by the iron. It slides into that slot there. And those nuts that you can see, the silver nuts, tighten it up here. The temperature setting is between sort of high and low. That's a temperature mark there. And I've got mine sort of halfway between, a little bit higher than normal. And that's enough to heat the whole of that hot plate. Now I'm going to work onto an A5 card. And the simplest way to fix the card is to use clear wax. Just put some clear wax onto your hot plate. Put the card down and it'll stay where you've placed it. it stops it sliding about. You can also use heat tape. This is heat proof tape. So if I just do a bit on the edge here, you'll see what it does. Just put that down on there. Give it a good press down. So now I've masked this off as well as taped it down. I'm going to start by putting some wax onto the card. You can see that the block, as soon as you touch it, starts melting. Take a few colours, just covering it really. Working down that edge where I've got the tape. A bit of blue. Nice to start with the primary colours, red, yellow and blue. And you can already see how they mix here into green, into the beginnings of orange. And these are sponges. So the sponge set consists of white sponges, two, three pieces, and this orange sponge. The orange sponge is good for flattening colour out. So if I do like this, can you see how it's merged all those colours into one? Oops, don't drop it on there. Right, what I'm going to do now is some pattern making. So if I take a block and I just wriggle it, can you see the pattern I can get? Let's do one with the blue, different type of pattern. I could just use the edge of the block. And one of the things that you'll notice is that when I use the block, if I put yellow on top of the blue, it doesn't go on top of the blue, it pushes the blue away. So using this technique, I can have a dark background and a light foreground. Or, like I did with the blue, a light foreground, a light background rather, and a dark foreground. This white sponge can be used to make shapes. So if I do some of that all over this card, it can be quite interesting as a background. Of course, I could slide it around, or I could dot it along, or use the corner and dot that along. So can you see some of the shapes that you can make? To flatten this out, just use the orange sponge and then try some different effects. This is the little plug. Make perfect rounds. Same thing. I can make edge marks or I can make just straight impressions. Overlap them. Now I've got a comb here. This is a rubber comb and what that does is it makes trails like that. There's three different sides to it. I use this one. And with that one, you can do fine lines, or if you press harder, you can do thick lines. This is a nice one. This is using the very finest of the combs. And then we've got the toothed one. All sorts of backgrounds you can make. And that's useful in other types of work later on. Just put a bit more colour on. 
And then look quickly at these rubber brushes. The rubber brush has got teeth and that does similar sorts of things. This one's got a tongue. All sorts of things you can do with it. And then we've got the scrapies. This whole collection here. Different shaped heads. Again, you can do lovely trails through the wax. You can move it around. Chisel head, straight cut. And I hope that what you're seeing is that there's a lot of variety of things that you can do with these tools, just making patterns. So let's just finish this off. A bit of colour. See how you can always put colour oops, always put colour back on. Just do a little bit of different techniques using all our things. It's just a bit of a random abstract. And remember we've got the tape here. So when I finish, if I pick this tape off. Carefully lift it right the way off the card. Can you see how that part has stayed clean? So this is a very quick introduction to the compact hot plate and some of the tools you can use with it.